Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of lesson 4. Right now on screen is an image of what your chassis will look like by the end of this video. There's not much of a change, it's literally just adding an axle. And right now on screen is the timestamps again. Once again, don't go ahead if this is your first time watching. Otherwise, you can skip ahead. Okay, so just a forewarning, this video will be very tedious. And don't worry if it takes you a while to get this down. But axles are really, really annoying to work with, in, with motors at least. So just bear with me and try your best. If you haven't done so already, you can open up the assembly. I'm just gonna skip ahead because I'm sure that you know how to do it by this point. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to place down some 4 inch axles. So you can pause the video right now and place the axles for yourself. If you need help finding the axle, I'll quickly go over it right now. So the first thing we do is we go to the assemble tab if it's not open already. Then you press place, you navigate out to the main folder, motion, and then standard shafts, and then we want the 4 inch shaft. Some of them have the words cut next to them. This is just to indicate that if you were to make it in real life, they would need to be cut because they don't come in this length. So just press open and place down two shafts and there we go. Okay so in this video I am going to show you two separate methods of inserting the axles into the motors. I think that the first one I'm going to go over is more difficult but I will show you both anyway and you can do whichever one you like better. So. This first method involves using a bunch of mates. Essentially, we'll be mating all of the faces together. So the first thing we need to do for this method is we need to zoom in onto an axle. So right here, and we want to look at a flat face of the axle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press constrain. And then we're just going to keep it at mate, and we're just going to do a normal mate, not a flush mate. We're going to click the face of the axle, and here is where it's going to get interesting. We need to somehow place this axle into the little axle insert. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the right side, or whatever face the motor is facing, and if you look inside the motor, there's this little gray area. So once you go to the right side, just zoom in onto this gray area right next to the two yellow gold inserts. And you will see the square inside of the motor. This is the back, back part of the motor insert. So we simply press it and press OK and if we go back home you will notice that it's attached to something it's attached to the inside of the motor so I'm just gonna move this to the side for now for the next part okay so this part is probably the most tedious thing of this video but bear with me so the first thing we are going to do is we are simply going to select the top face of this axle so press constrain stay on the normal mate and then we are just going to do a normal mate again and then we're going to pick the top face of the axle it should be the longest face or one of the longest faces. 
now this is where it's going to be tedious. We will once again go to the right side and now we you see how this was a, is a square insert we want to make sure that this top face is mated to that top face as well so what you'll have to do is you have to zoom in really close to this like it will probably fill up your screen and then this you're gonna have to ever so slightly drag this cube you you have to hold, click, and hold, and drag it around. But you have to do it really, really slowly. And then, if it's like this, and you've lost the view, si simply press pan, and drag up until you see it. And then press escape once to get out of pan. And now you see that you see that I'm hovering over what was once the square. We can now see the top of the square. You know you can tell that this is the top based off of where this arrow is pointing. I've never explained this before, but it's useful here. Th these red arrows that always appear point in a direction called normal or face normal. In other words, it's an arrow that points perpendicular to the face. It's basically pointing to where the face is pointing. So like this back face, it's pointing towards us because the because that flat face is facing us. And this top one, that flat surface is facing down. So that's why the arrow is facing down. We want the top face that's looking down. So we will s click this top face and you will see the axle snaps in place. Once that happens, press OK. Make sure to save. And then we will move on to doing this once more on the other side. OK, so once again, we will need to insert or mate this face that I'm kind of like coloring in with my mouse with the inside face so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just zoom out again because we do need to drag this to the side so just click hold and drag it to the side and then we're going to press constrain mate tool again and we're going to click the side this side of the axle then we're gonna do the same process again we're gonna go to the right side zoom in all the way to the little insert ever so slightly rotate it pan the screen again press escape only once to get out of pan and we are going to find this face and you see the arrow is pointing right because the face is looking right we want the face that looks right to connect with the face that goes left. Just like in the last one, we wanted the face that looks up to connect with the face that looks down. Then click it, press OK, and then press Home. There we have it. We have an axle inserted. So I will explain this method and the comparisons with the next method I'm about to do. But I will repeat this method once more just so you understand it. Okay, so we're going to do the same exact thing on the left motor right here. So I'm just going to drag this axle over here, click out just to unselect it. I'm going to use the cube to go to the left side. I am going to first zoom in onto the flat face of the axle. Constrain. I'm going to do another make constraint. Press that flat face. This time we're going to the left side. Going to find that square again. Click it. And then press OK. And once again, we'll, we'll do this slightly differently. I'm going to drag the axle just so I can see the top. And then now I'm going to slightly angle upwards. 
constrain mate click the top of the axle then take the cube and slightly drag it so your camera is facing upwards and if you can't see it like this see no matter where I'm panning it I can't see it it means that we angled the camera up too much this is why it's super tedious because you have to like make only slight adjustments like see if I angled it even slightly more this would be hidden so once you're able to find that top face make sure that it's a top face by the normal arrow pointing down click on it then press OK we're gonna do this once more gonna drag this to the side let me just use the pan tool again drag this to the side we're gonna go to constrain mate left mate we're going to go to the click the left side again so it's flat zoom in ever so slightly angle find the face make sure it's pointing to the right make sure it is not this little chamfer or angled part it has to be facing almost perfectly right then press it press ok and when you press home you have an inserted axle alright so this method m makes the axle insert correctly into the axle insert in the motor the problem with this method is if I quickly drag the axle the axle is stationary the reason for this is because the motors the inside insert doesn't rotate so this method creates axles that don't rotate relative to the motor sometimes we don't want that sometimes we do want the axles to rotate so this next method will do just that okay so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to place down more axles and I forgot to say but pause right here and do it for yourself okay and when you press the place button because you just placed an axle this it should just pop up the four inch shaft press open and press two places on screen then press escape okay so just like the last method we need to find the flat face of the axle however when we are selecting the flat faces you will notice let me just zoom in that this is a problem with the cut axle the cut axles one side is completely flat almost as if we cut it and then if we rotate to the other side of the axle you notice it's still flat but there's like a little like circular face this method requires us to use the circular face which means we do not want to insert this circular face into the motor if it is a cut axle so if it's not a cut axle let me just place in the three inch shaft if it's not a cut axle and you have a circle circular face on both sides as you can see then it does then you don't have to watch out for anything but because we do have a cut axle we want to find the very flat cut side once we find that we will press constrain mate click on it and then just like the last time we will go to the right side or the left whichever face is correct then we will select the square inside of the motor click on it and then press OK and then I'm just gonna press home so here is where this method differs from the last one if you remember back toward back to lesson 2 one of the mate constraints allows you to make holes 
centered. Like you see, if I hover over this curved section, it will, it can, it make make circular sections in line. This is what we're going to take advantage of. But instead of using a cylindrical shape, we are going to use a circle. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, from the home screen, let's say, we are going to zoom into the axle and then we will find that if we hover over the circular edges you get a little green dot that represents the center of the circle now we're, what we're going to do is we are going to click the edge once we click the edge we need to find another circle or in this case another cylinder for this center dot to be in line with. In this case, because we know that this bearing flat is in line with the motor axle insert, we are going to select the, cent the center axis of the cylindrical insert. What this will do is the center of this circle right here will be in line with the center line of this cylinder. Press OK and that's it. We don't have to do any weird zooming in and the camera modifications. And we have a rotating axle. So this takes advantage of the fact that we only need a minimum amount of mates to keep things from not moving. The other method, we had three mates. They restricted it on the X, Y, and Z axis and prevented rotation. This method only restricts it on the X, Y, and Z axis, but allows rotation along the axis of the axle. So once again, we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So just like last time, we are going to zoom into the flat cut face Press Constrain, Mate, select the face. I am going to go to the corner, this corner, the top left corner. Then I'm going to go to the left side using the cube. Again, zoom into the axle and press the back square. Press OK. And then once we do that, I'm just going to angle my camera to this corner. Going to zoom in to the axle. Once again, press constrain. Select the edge so we get the center of the circle. Reposition my camera slightly. Use the pan tool again and then select the bearing flat center axis. Press it. Press OK. And there we have it. Two rotating axles and two stationary axles. So I know that was tedious but we made it and we are almost done with our chassis. All we need are spacers and wheels. So in the next video that is what we will be going over. So until next video have a good day everyone.